data scientists have been saying is the sexiest job of the 21st century. But a recent study has shown that for every data scientist, you need 10 data savvy managers. But I think not even just data managers or data savvy managers, I think we're all either data creators or data consumers. So I think we need to focus even on those people at the front line to make sure that they're just doing good practices with data. A good data manager is someone who can focus on three things uh, in particular. The first thing would be the focus on data assets over the IT assets of the business and an ability to separate the two. Uh, the second thing would be to focus on agile over analytics. Um, while we do encourage a, a data manager to be analytically minded, it's more important to be agile in their way of thinking and their way of doing. And the other thing is to be a visual and design thinker over technology. So let's not be too focused on technology as a data manager. Yes, it has a role. Yes, it's important. But we need to also understand our business and use visual and design thinking techniques. I think one of the most critical mistakes that people make is ignoring the cost of bad data or even just kind of saying that bad data is the cost of doing business. We have a rule of thumb given by Dr. Tom Redman, and he basically says that to do a task with bad data will cost you 10 times more than to do it with good data. So people uh, or organizations are losing an awful lot of money. And again, they just take it for granted. They just say that that's the cost of doing business. Um, yeah, that, that would probably be the biggest thing. O other things may be thinking of technology over people. You know, seeing that technology is the solution or to many data problems where in fact it actually makes things worse. There is no doubt that there are plenty of technically skilled data management resources uh, in companies presently, um, but a new way of thinking and a new mi mindset is necessary. Um, for us, uh, in our work with EMC and SAS, uh, we have produced the uh, IMI UCC Masters in Data Business. Um, and as part of this program, we're very much encouraging this new way of thinking and this new mindset. So again, like, like the areas of, of a data manager to focus on, uh, the idea of maybe people over technology is extremely important and, and being able to almost repurpose people in the business. Uh, sometimes we feel that maybe the roles might define what people do in a business. And when it comes to data, the expertise that we might need to become more data driven often reside in, pl in places that we might not think of looking. Uh, so I think for, w for us, with our data business program, one of the things we are trying to do is to really get businesses to simplify their business and to think about the repurposing of the human resources that they have. Uh, and indeed, that creativity uh, and that type of insight that they might need in terms of delivering more from their data could already be locked in certain areas of their business in terms of their, their human capital. The biggest bit of advice I would give to managers is to make sure that they put business value first. Uh, that might ensure them being able to make a business case for data initiatives. Uh, sometimes that's difficult. Um, but uh, And on the other flip side is maybe stopping initiatives that don't have a business case associated with them that's going to drive business value. I think it's very easy to kind of jump on the bandwagon with like these new technologies and trends be it big data or Internet of Things, but without a, a solid business case or without maybe a business value-driven focus, you can very easily get out of hand and uh, I suppose people get very disappointed with the results then. The ability to challenge the status quo is a big thing. Um, and again, mm -hmm. maybe to, uh, to challenge the way that people treat or manage data as they do at the moment because I think a lot of companies do it just because that's the way they've always done it. Um, and I think a, a nice, healthy bit of scepticism around that will go a long way for companies. Um, I think for me, the simple one is to simplify the business. I think if we rush to introduce technology, we're effectively going to bring more complex structures into the business. And you know, sometimes the business side of the house might feel that they're being underserved or underdelivered uh, in terms of their needs by, by the, the existence of this technology. I think what's important is how do we go about simplifying the business and I think again for, for us to start having new transformative conversations. There are, there are plenty of simple templates that businesses can use 
to have these conversations and they can make their conversations very data centric. Um, I think the, the last kind of piece of advice for me would be to be more problem centric as opposed to solution centric and if you're to be problem centric you might suggest that you can better explore, understand and define the problem and therefore as Tiger suggested you deliver um, a greater chance of having business value from your initiative.